So when creating monsters like this one, uh, I often find it inconvenient to hide and show subtools. We have to go to subtool panel and just press this small eye icon. Uh, it's inefficient and uncomfortable. Mm, so in order to improve that, I wrote a small script in Zscript, which allows me to hide subtools under the mouse cursor. So I just need to hover over a subtool, press a hotkey, and that will hide the subtool. And I find that to be more efficient uh, and overall a better user experience. So this script itself is really short. Mm, you will find some meta information. It was written more than a half year or half a year ago. Uh, there is no license or anything. You can do whatever with it, um, except selling it. Maybe just into that. Mm, you will find the link in the video description for the for the script itself. Uh, the script is pretty simple. There are basically uh, two functions and one button. Uh, so the functions just check your ZBrush version. It has to be at least 4.8 version of ZBrush. I just didn't test it on older uh, versions. It might as well work. I don't know. Mm, then there is the function that checks if uh, a subtool is selected. And then there is the button definition that's binded to this functionality uh, and it uses those three question marks which uh, actually makes it a macro mm, that's because there are some issues when it's just a normal z script but let's not get into it mm, anyway the contents isn't that important um, in order to install it you just put the text file in the Z startup macros uh, miscellaneous folder. It can be another folder. I think you can't paste it into macros itself. It has to be in a folder, but I'm not sure. I just paste it into miscellaneous. Mm. And then you can find the macro here. You can bind a hotkey to it. I bind G. And by doing that, I can just hover as I've shown you before, hover over a subtool, press the G button and the subtool disappears. And the same for other subtools. So in order to actually show them back again, uh, uh, in the Z plugin tab, which you can find also here, now you will find subtool master plugin. And this one has show hide all button. And once again, I bind Alt G to that one. And now pressing Alt G shows all of the subtools. Yeah, pressing G hides them. Alt G unhides them. I find that way more comfortable than just aiming for the eye icon. Yeah, and that's all. Thanks.